Hi. Uh, in December, the PS3 got hacked, and now Sony is taking legal action against one of the hackers, and the fallout could be huge. From decrypting DVDs to jailbreaking iPads, hackers have proven that if it's locked down, unlocking it is just a matter of time. And few people do it better than George Hotz, a.k.a. GeoHot. George was the first person on Earth to jailbreak Apple's iPhone, enabling features like tethering and video recording. At the time, this kind of iPhone hacking was illegal. But a recent update to the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA, has given us the legal right to jailbreak our phones. Recently, George turned his attention to the PS3 after a software update locked down the PlayStation 3's operating system. He succeeded, re-enabling PS3 support for unapproved software, including emulators and pirated games. This week, George released the PS3 jailbreak code on his site, and Sony fought back, filing a lawsuit. Sony wants the courts to block George from publishing his jailbreak code and is asking for all copies of it to be wiped off the internet. GeoHot triumphed over Apple, paving the way for your rights. Can he do the same for the PS3? It's the loop. All right, joining me from New York to help us make sense of it all, George Hotz, a.k.a. GeoHot, everyone. Welcome to the show, George. Good to be here. Uh, it's good to have you here. Um, so it's you, George Hotz, against Sony, this giant multinational corporation. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being like making a diamond out of coal, how puckered are you right now? How, how concerned are you when you wake up in the morning? The adrenaline is definitely flowing. Um, you know, it's exciting, it's scary at the same time, but, you know, I'm taking it day by day. Is this your first lawsuit rodeo? Is this the first time you've hopped on the, uh, the saddle? Is. Well, congratulations, First good time, sir. Um, we'll see what comes of it. What exactly did you do? I mean, we explained that, that you posted this sort of hack, this firmware update to the PS3. What exactly did you allow uh, users to do to their PS3s? Right now, still legally, you can go to my website, geohot.com, and download my jailbreak for your PS3. And what it lets you do is install homebrew applications. And these are applications that have been developed by anyone. You can go develop your own applications sure. too, or go download some and put them on your jailbreak and PS3. So people can run unsigned code for the first time on, the, on their systems. Well, not for the first time, but at least using your hack they can. But the issue then becomes yeah. using that hack to potentially, they could also play a pirated game, right? And that's where Sony takes issue. Actually, no. Um, the way piracy was previously done doesn't work in my jailbreak. And I made a you know, specific effort while I was working on this to try to enable homebrew without enabling things I do not support, like piracy. So then what, what do you think the issue is? What exactly are you being sued for here? Making Sony mad. Ah, well, that, that'll do it. Um, you were the first person to unlock the iPhone, and then, of course, you went on to jail jailbreak the iPad. Um, why did you turn your attention on the PS3? Were you hacking it uh, simultaneously in parallel? So initially, what I did last year, I was playing around in other OS, and I couldn't get access to the uh, full access to the video card. So, you know, I wanted to get access there, and once I did, I let it go. I didn't play around with Game OS at all. Then, come April, Sony releases an update that removes either OS entirely. And so, you, um, you wanted that access, so you ahead. went poking around, and then you decided to release it to the world. Exactly. Well, a federal court has ruled that, that hacking or jailbreaking an iPhone is actually legal in the U.S., so how is hacking the iPhone different from unlocking a PS3, or is that the question you're asking? That is the question I'm asking. Um, currently, the difference is the DMCA says specifically mobile phones. But, I mean, I think the same precedent should apply. Like, whatever precedent, if they decide phone, it's a closed system where the manufacturer controls all the software that runs on it. And, you know, if you can uh, jailbreak one closed system, why can't you jailbreak another? All right. Excellent question. I'm sure your lawyers will ask the same. Ha have, have you sought legal counsel? Have people emailed you offering legal advice or services? I have. You know, a lot of people, a lot of... Random people have been emailing me with legal advice, but I've been speaking with two lawyers, uh, Yasha and Stuart, who've been, uh, you know, helping me fight Sony initially in California. And, uh, yeah. And so uh, if you, if you win, then, that. like you said, the, the DMCA right now applies to closed systems, i.e. phones in this case. So if you win, does, does that mean it could set precedent and uh, apply that same uh, right to hack or right to jailbreak or right to update firmware across all devices? Do you see that being a, a fallout from this case? Definitely. I think this case is about a lot more than what I did and me. It's about whether, whether you really own that device that you purchased. And uh, hypothetically, let's say you win this David versus Goliath battle. Who or, or what is next 
on your, your hit list. I, I like to think that you have a list pasted to a wall and you're just crossing it down of corporations to anger and lawyers to hire. What, what's next? Uh, when does the PSP2 come out? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm now, kidding, I'm kidding. Now you're just poking sticks, but uh, we, we appreciate um, your time. And uh, well, please, if you have something that's coming up next, what is it? Working on a couple contract projects now, you know, when they put something out, I'll take a look at it. That doesn't sound nearly as scandalous, but I wish you the best of luck. George Hotch, thank you so much for joining us and keeping us in the loop. Geo Hots, everyone. Thank you. And now let's go over to